Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, great, great, great. Um, what beliefs do you have in that? Uh, those that kind of put their trust in Jesus. Will be yeah. Forgiven. Yeah, so actually the, the Bible scripture actually backs that up. And it says here that the righteous will possess the earth and they will live forever on it. Yeah. So, you know, this lets us know that we're going to be able to live forever on the earth, right? And... Um, with the study of the Bible, it also shows that it won't be in the type of conditions that we see today, right? So we know that the world today um, is full of a lot of bad things, right? We, you know, we just went through the pandemic. We have so many negative things happening every day. Um, but the, the, the conditions of the world will be similar, or won't be similar, will be just like this. So we have, we'll have peace, right? We'll be able to construct our own homes. We'll have enough food, we'll have enough food for people. And the animals and humans will be able to, you know, live in the earth in a, in a peaceful, in a peaceful way. Yeah. yeah so I'm, we're I'm, giving this for free. So if you're interested, yeah, you can one. have it. And it, this brochure actually comes with a free Bible study. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you're a Bible student yourself, but if you are interested, I might get to your contact information and somebody can reach out to you. And it's a free of charge. Mm -hmm. The Bible study. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That that'd be cool. How, how long, Brian? How long you been uh, studying? The, uh, the Bible for about five years now. Five years? Yes, five years now. What, what did you kind of do before that? Well, so before I became a Jehovah's Witness, I was a Catholic. Catholic? Um, yep, I was in Catholic religion and I went to school and everything, went to college and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So do you think that you really studied? Because I think I know, most Catholics I know, they don't read their Bible. Oh, no, I didn't read the Bible. And that's why I am a Jehovah's Witness because I studied the Bible thoroughly and I thoroughly through evidence have learned that what it teaches is true. Now with this verse, have you ever, ever heard that, um, so I guess you're kind of under the understanding that, that the anointed wouldn't live on earth? That the anointed wouldn't live on earth? What do you mean? Like the anointed believers live on earth. So the Bible teaches that there are 140,000 that are anointed, yes, and they will be living in heaven. So it wouldn't be on earth, is it? Not, well, they are for a certain amount of time, but... Some of them have gone up to heaven already, and some of them are still on the earth. Okay. No, like, like kind of a, after, like we're, after, like we're glorified. At the, after we're glorified and everything's changed, with the like those anointed will live on the earth. No. Never, never read that. No, that's not what the Bible teaches. You have a Bible you can go to? I can show you. You have a Bible I can show you. Or you, do you have your Bible? I know your Bible's a little different. What do you mean it's different? It's the same Bible. It's just in a newer translation, in a, in a way that we could actually understand it through this, with this day and age. There's some, there's some changes. Like, there's some issues in, 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 like, the new world translation added a few things. Like, I don't, you probably never came over really across that in Colossians. But in, in Revelation 21... Are you used to a Bible student? I see you have your Bible here. Yeah. Oh, good. That's good. That's nice. We like to have conversations and see people. Amen. So in, in Revelation, when it's telling you about the new earth, it says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, um, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming out, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. So that's going to be the heaven, that's going to be the earth where everybody's going to live, no? But when it says, um, if you keep reading, it says, And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will 
give the uh, spring of water of life without payment. Seventh key, the one who conquers will have this heritage, and I will be his God, and he will be uh, my son. Now, who are the, who are the only people that um, conquer, have conquered the world? You mean now? Oh, with, with, with God, in God's eyes. I'm confused by your question. I don't know what you're trying so, to ask me. When it says the one who conquers, that's a specific type of person. So who this is, is referring to the war of Armageddon. How would this be if it's talking about the new heavens and the new earth? Right, but this is talking about after the war of Armageddon. Yeah, so it says the one who conquers will have this inheritance. So the, the heritage it's talking about is living with God and God being his people. That heritage is only going to be for the one who conquers. Because it's read verse 8, it tells you. So it's a contrast. But it says, as for the cowardly, so it's telling you about the good and the bad. The good, this is what's going to happen for them, and the bad is going to be, they're going to be the second death. They're going to get thrown into the lake. So, are, are you aware that only the anointed are the ones that conquer? I still don't know what you're trying to tell me. What are you trying to tell me? Well, we have to conquer this world. We have to overcome this world. So the, over, when I say conquer and overcome, that means like not live in sin, not walk the right way. Live the way God wants you to live, and you walk that way because God's Spirit is helping you, and you, you are a new creation in Christ, right? So those are the only people that conquer. So do you understand that that can only be the anointed believers? Big back I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can get the understanding from that person. And it's okay. And I'm sure, it's I'm sure. Okay. I can show you, that's why, that's why it's good because, yeah. let me just show you real quick. And I'm actually, I'm not actually not wanting to have like a debate or anything. We're just here to share, to share this brochure. So if you're interested in the brochure, take it. And if not, then that's fine too. But I'm like, I'm not interested in like going back and forth. No, no, I'm, I'm going to show you because if, if you don't know about this topic, there's okay, no debate. Okay, I'll, I'll I just want to show you. Okay, you can show me. You know what I mean? I'm just going to show you. All right, I just want to let you know that I'm not going to Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, no, this is, probably, this is probably not something you probably heard or really studied. So this might be something where you're just taking it in. Because this is big when, it, when so if you're telling someone they're going to, if they can live on earth or go somewhere else, that's big if you're wrong. Right? I'm going by, I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's right. So when I showed you in Revelation, it tells you the one that one that conquers is going to have that inheritance. Right? So in First John five, it says everyone who believes that Jesus is uh, is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the Father um, loves whoever has been born of Him. And by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. But this is the love of God that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. Now, have you been born of God? You're not born again. Are you born again? You're born again, be born of the Spirit. Have you been born of the Spirit? The Spirit, have you been sealed with the Spirit? So, you're not born again? You don't know what that means? So born, born again, born again when you, you're born again when you repent. So when you repent, God sees your faith. He sees that, okay, you have a true faith. That you, you love God, you understand who Jesus is, you understand everything, and you don't have a false faith, and then he seals you with his spirit. And Ephesians 1 says, once you believe, you're sealed with his spirit for an inheritance. That's your, that's your down payment. You get a down payment now that you get the sealing of the spirit, then you're anointed. So... You would need to be born again to overcome the world. Now, the, 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 I guess the organization teaches that you wouldn't be born again. So you wouldn't be someone that can overcome the world because you would still be dealing with the world in your flesh. So that would mean that you wouldn't be on earth because that's not your inheritance because you're not in Christ. Okay, well, like I said, I appreciate you, you know, being your Bible and having a discussion, but we're here for this, this purpose to share this do you, with you. Do you, know, do you know that your publication says that you're supposed to hear my beliefs and teach? There's a publication that says you're supposed to do that? Right, and I can choose when I, when I want to and when I, and when I choose not to. But the, so, now, 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 what would be the justification to do that? 
what do you mean to choose not to have a discussion right now? Yeah. Because my purpose today is just to create a group. So if, like I said, I'll take your number down. If we continue to have a discussion at a different time, we can. But as of today, my purpose is just to create a group. So I'll take your number down. Now, okay, yeah. We'll continue the discussion if you would like yeah. at a different time. Yeah, because now I'm saying usually that's because... Yeah, what's your name? Ryan. Yeah. Is that because you don't really you're not familiar with the topic? Yeah. No, no, no. Like I said, my topic. Oh, see, look at that. I know you say you study the Bible four one. This is something that you have to study because if you're telling people something that four one. Yeah. Would you guys go to the therapist? Nope. Which one you guys go to? Oh, near the price rate. Near the price rate. Thank you so much, Ryan. I, yeah. I hope to keep having the discussion. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, thank yeah. you so much. If you want to come, you can be with my wife too. We can have a, a study and we can we can go through this pamphlet together if yes, you want. That'll be great. Thank you. All right, you have thank a good you. one. Thank you. Too. Okay, okay, so now.